Hello, my name is Reverend Nikki. Welcome to Storytime in Cross Lake and Parish. Yesterday was Mothering Sunday and it's a really important festival that we celebrate in church. It helps us to think of how our church family are really important to us. The way that they help us to learn more about what it means to follow God and how to live life filled up to the brim full of God's love. Mothering Sunday has also become a time when we stop to give thanks for those special people in our lives who love and care and help us. I imagine you had a very different Mothering Sunday this year. Perhaps in the past you've had times when you've gone out to celebrate with your family and that's perhaps not been possible this year but I'm sure that you've found different ways to show your love and thankfulness to the people who care about you. In church yesterday, we listened to a story from the Bible that told us all about the importance of looking for ways to be loving and caring to others. And I'd like to share that story with you this morning. This story happened a long time ago in Egypt. The ruler of that country, called the Pharaoh, hated the Hebrew people. He'd made them his slaves. And he was so worried about the Hebrew people that he made a really awful law. He told the people that all the Hebrew children, the tiny babies, had to be killed. That was a really dreadful thing to have made a law. The Hebrew people were very frightened. One family had a tiny baby boy. The baby's mum was really frightened and worried for her little precious baby. She tried to keep him quiet. She tried to keep him out of sight, but it was getting harder and harder. So after thinking really hard and praying really hard, she had an idea. She wrapped her baby in a warm blanket and then she wove a special basket made out of reeds and she made the basket waterproof with a special bitumen. She placed the baby in the basket. Near to where the family lived there was a deep long river. It was the River Nile. The baby's mum took her baby in the basket and placed it at the edge of the river where the reeds and the long grasses would hide the basket from view. The baby's mother said to her grown-up daughter, Miriam, Miriam, go and stand watch over your baby brother to see that no harm comes to him. And that's just what Miriam did. She stood and watched and waited. Later that same day, the Pharaoh's daughter, the princess of Egypt, came down to the river to bathe with her handmaidens. As she was bathing, she heard the sound of a baby crying and she told her handmaidens to look and see if they could find the baby. They looked and they looked. Finally, they found the baby in the basket down by the reeds. When the princess saw the little baby, she knew this was one of the Hebrew babies. But her heart was full of love and kindness. She reached out and took the baby in her arms. I'm going to keep you safe, she said. I will take you to the palace and bring you up as if you were my own child. When Miriam heard those words, 
she knew she had a chance, a chance to keep connected with her brother. So she went to the Pharaoh's princess and said, excuse me, I wonder if you might be looking for a woman who will look after this baby for you. The princess said, yes, that would be good. Miriam said, I know just the person. Let me take the baby. I'll take him to this woman and she will rear him until he's old enough to come and live with you in the palace. And that's just what happened. Miriam took her baby brother back home to his own mother, who reared him until he was old enough to go and live with the princess in the palace. And the princess called the little baby boy Moses. Moses means, I found you in the bulrushes. Moses went on to be very important leader for his people and God used Moses to help his people escape from slavery. I wonder, I wonder what you liked best about that story. I wonder if there was anything in that story that was the most important bit. I wonder if there was anything we could leave out and still have all the story we need. The story shows us that God uses people to help those who are weak and in danger. He used Miriam. She was watching and waiting for an opportunity to help her baby brother. Sometimes it's good, isn't it, to look around at the people near to us, maybe in our family or friends at school, and notice when they might be in need, when we can do something kind to help them. All of the people in this story who were helpful and kind were women. They were heroines. I wonder who are the important heroines in your life? perhaps people in your family or friends. I wonder if you've ever said to them how much you really find their way that they behave helpful and inspiring. It's been a difficult year this past year. Perhaps there've been people who've really helped you over this past year. Maybe you'd like to take some time today to think about those people and think about a way that you could say thank you to them. Let's pray. Loving God, you made us all and we are all yours. And you care for us as a mother tenderly cares for her children. When we are unwell, in danger and alone, you support people to be Help us and look after us and care for us. Thank you for all the love and care which comes our way. Help us to be open to where you will send us to care for others too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.